Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 2.5. I'm Mike Jevin, and today we're on episode 47. Yesterday we were working on the base, and we actually got a lot done yesterday. We got um, everything in AE sort of up and running. Today we have another daunting task ahead of us, though. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right, guys. So right now we have got sort of our base floor built up. And right now I'm using our molecular... Um, or quantum ring on this molecular somewhere. No, it's a quantum ring to connect our stuff. I actually want to move everything that's in the last millennium to this base. Besides the reactors, I think. So, like, all of these little machines that you see, uh, I'm going to be redoing some of them. But for the most part, like, you know, pulverizers, redstone furnaces, the ore processing... That entire setup, all of this needs to be moved. And it's going to be a huge pain in the butt to do. It's going to be really hard. So, yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to think about, like, because, like, um, you know, each one of these has a couple of recipes. I know the liquid's going to be redone. What are these? Okay, so those are just uh, taking AE fluids. The hardest part is this one right here. This is the one that we need to work on the most because these have pretty much all of the recipes. And I'm going to try to... I, I would actually like to move everything to thermal expansion if possible. So we'll have to see about that. But I'm going to get working on that and um, we'll see how things go. I'm going to try to line everything up, make it nice and real neat. And so we have everything labeled and things like that. So... Okay, guys, so what I'm thinking about doing to speed up the system, because we use like a series of ender chests for everything. I think I'm going to start using interfaces instead because interfaces would move things into the system faster. So let me grab some of these. I just don't know where to put them. Um, I guess if I scooted this one over a little bit, I could just put it in the middle. Um, let's go to the last one real fast. So what do I have left on that side? So yeah, these are all auto processings right here. So those will go on another side. Uh, thinking about these pulverizers. Yeah, these are all pulverizers. So those could probably get put over there as well. Um, I'll probably come back for those. All right, let me let's go back to the new house real fast. And we've got one more set of machines we can put right there. So let's go ahead and put all these in here. Okay. Dude, this base is going to be so awesome. It's going to be so, like, this the highest of speeds of everything. Uh, do these all have... Okay. I just wanted to make sure that they're all, you know, as, as fast as they can go. Now, let's head back over to the last millennium. And I want to grab all of this. Okay. Just pulverizers for everything, man. Yeah, we will definitely, definitely be removing that. Okay, so these are... What are that? What is that? Okay, so we'll need to come up with something for that then. I'm going to try to figure out a way to make these another way, I think. Okay, so pulverizers can sit right here, grab the interfaces, grab the cable, there we go, so everything is nice and neat right there, it's all connected together. Um, we will need power though. I think the easiest way to do power. Do I have a Tesseract? I have like nine Tesseracts. Uh, conduit. There we go. So I think if we put the Tesseract in the middle, right here. I am kind of curious though. I want to try something really fast. 
See, the problem with using the cables that we have right there is that they show stuff. Um, paint machine, facade, um, you. I just want to try something real fast. Hopefully this has power. It does. Fantastic. So that's going to make me a facade. Now the problem is, does this keep textures? So we're going to test that out right now. So say I put the Tesseract in the ground. And I want to power my cable through that, like right there. Would I be able to... Ooh. You go, girl. And then... Okay, well, yeah, that'll work. That'll work pretty good. Then I'll put the cable in the ground. Let's grab this real fast and put it over here. There we go. And then I'm going to need to make a bunch of those. 64. So I don't know how many I'm actually going to need, but... Then that Tesseract is going to need configured. There we go. So those machines will all be powered in just a second, which means let's go ahead and run the cable for that. So it'll be nice and hidden. You know how hard it is to fly down here? There we go. Oops, I did something. Oh. Okay, so we can hide the cabling. I'm so glad that that keeps that connected texture. There we go. Grab you. Oops, wrong cable. There we go. So now all those machines should be powered. Um... Why did those have a texture down below? Hold on, let's go check that out real fast. Did I not put blocks down there or something? Oh, there's still empty textures, I see. Yeah, there's not much I can do about the texture of the Tesseract one, but of that. All right, if I need more of those, I'll grab those later. There we go. So now the machines are all powered. They're all running very, very fast. So now we need to figure out where do we want to put this last interface? Um, I, I really would like to keep wiring to a minimum possible. Hmm. Maybe we think of something clever for it because they're all going to output to a certain side, depending on what, you know, depending on what we tell it. Um, so we can just put it in the middle. But then that Tesseract would be in the way. Because we could run the dense cable there. Maybe we move the Tesseract. To like this spot right here. Let me go down. Uh, oh, I never even powered those, did I? Wow, I fail. So maybe we move the Tesseract to... Right there. And then we switch over to, I guess I don't have any dense conduit. I have one. Uh, dense, you, here, let's um, pattern. Go ahead and make a pattern for this so we don't have to craft that anymore. Pattern terminal, really? <laughs> Make me actually break everything, you bastard. Um, crafting terminal, pattern terminal, and then dense. Um. Oh, so I don't even have any ME conduit. I see. I've, I keep forgetting that it requires that stupid conduit. Like this one right here. So we need the... Uh, I 
forget what that's called. Hold on. Dense. Fiber. Craft, go, go. I don't know if that's going to work or not. All of our machines have been moved, so they still need to be connected. I'm pretty sure that the some of these are working. They just have the items in there and they're stuck now. Yeah. So put that into the system. OK, so dense. You, you. Let me go to the pattern terminal here. These things are a pain in the butt to craft. Pattern. There we go. I need another pattern here. Put those in there. Let me go put this into the system somewhere. You. And then dense. Cable. Or oh, I guess it would be conduit. There we go. There we go. That is now auto crafted and uh, we'll be able to connect those together. Like no problemo captaino. So I'm going to continue to work on this. Um, I'm going to get all the cable ran, get it all hidden, get everything wired up to an interface that we can run back into the system. And I think we'll be good to go. OK, guys, so I think I've got everything set up for this to work. We need to test every one of these machines, though. Everything besides the output, I think. I think I'm going to make the output. I think the bottom is what I need to make the output orange. Um, I know I can turn that off. And I can turn that off. I think it's just the top and bottom is what we'll need to do. So what do we want to test? Let's test uh, making sand. Sand. 30. Go. So how is that? We're not getting power, but everything is working. OK, so that means that one of two things has happened. I haven't connected a cable correctly or the Tesseract is not connected with power. A she. So you and you and then we want to insert and then that should be powered. OK, let's go test now. So it's still not getting power. Let me grab some conduit. Maybe I just didn't connect that machine together. You. Um. It's got to be in here then. Uh, let's see. Receiving. That is what we want. There we go. Much better. So now let's go ahead and configure all the rest of these. So they all need to be. So this one right here doesn't have a cable attached to the interface. I'm going to use the back panel, which would be so if I'm staring at this front side, I think this is back. You need to turn that one off. 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 All right, so let's go ahead and test this one, too. What's what can I make in here? Um, let's make some Certus dust. Cities. Works just fine. And then these induction smelters. Um, let's make some bronze. Okay, so it's not outputting to the to the interface, which means that um, 
that means that we need to go down there and connect it. So items. Uh, this is the problem that I was having though with the Tesseract being right there. I'm not sure where to put it. Um, was kind of hoping it would just automatically shoot the items into it is the issue. And it's not. I thought it would automatically output. Uh, I want to rem. Okay, so maybe I have the wrong side then. Is it this one? Yeah, it is that one. So we need that to be orange. Turn that off. There we go. So that did work. It was just user error. Good deal. And that is crazy fast, man. What about this one over here? I think this one's got conduit, but still needs to be configured. What do we have in here? Let's make some Electrum. Looks like it's working just fine. All right, well, it looks like all of our machines are working really good. I'll need to get some facade for that. And then let's just make sure that these are all configured correctly real fast. And then we'll test them. So silicon and a processor or draconium. Silicon. Okay. Looks like both of those work just fine. Fantastic. So we pretty much made it to where it's instantaneous into the system. Uh, it goes to the cables really, really quickly, and it's just very fast processing in general. I really love it. I think this is as fast as it can actually go. I think the only other things we could do would be to put speed upgrades into the item conduit. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to use Ender.io for some stuff, so... <coughs> Three, two, one, cut here. All right, guys, unfortunately, I'm going to have to use Ender.io for some stuff, so... Um, let me fix this real fast. I want that disabled. I only want the bottom part. There we go. Uh, I only want the bottom part to pull or push, but... Uh, so, yeah, since we're using Ender.io... Um, <clears throat> I figured it would be nice to actually have a good setup for it. And that's, let me fill these in. So I pretty much got the same setup as the other side. Fill all these. There we go. Um, not a lot of these have stuff in them though, like the, the slice and spicer or whatever that is, but... Sag mill. I feel like there should be stuff in there. I don't know what we would use that sag mill for, but it'll be there if we ever need it. Let's test out these alloys. I hate the alloys because they take so long to make. Like, uh, this enderum base. Oh no, which one does that make? That makes, that makes actual enderum. Okay. Yeah, this thing, it's just so slow. Like, let's craft like four of them. We're missing pyrothium dust. That means that it's over here because everything should have been craftable. I don't think I thought I had pulled all the recipes, but I guess not. Uh, I'm probably still like super far behind on these. Let me check all of them. We'll just, uh, oh no, there's some reactor stuff up there. Let's grab those. I forgot my pickaxe. Hold on. But yeah, I'm trying to make this like uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to go through, add speed upgrades to everything. I want to, like I said, I want everything as fast as it can possibly be. We ain't got time for slow. So grab all that. And then, yeah, there's still plenty of uh, stuff in here that needs to be taken, taken over. Grab all these. Try to grab as many of these as I can. Oh my god, there's so many of them. 
And then that doesn't even count the back part of it yet. Okay, well, we'll have to do more of these later, but I do want to test out with something. We'll have to try it with another thing. Um, okay. Let me just go to this one over here. Jeez. All right. But I guess it's good that we have all these in here because eventually it'll, you know. Did I put that in the wrong thing? No. Hold on. Oh, no, I'm good. For some reason, I'm like, what's going on? I'm like losing my mind or something. Anyways, I'll check and see if we have everything that we need for that. There we go. All right, uh, let's try the Enderum base this time instead. So it should be this one. Should be all smelting. What in the world? It's not working. Creates Enderum base one, one, and two. What? It's got power. The only thing I could think of would be that right there, maybe. And it already put those in there. Hmm. What? Hold on. What's a crafting recipe? Yeah. All right, let's try a different, I guess, a different recipe, maybe. Let's try like energetic alloy. Why is this not working? Is it this? Never active, always active. There we go. You see how slow this is? Even with an octoctic capacitor, it's like, it drags, man. And there isn't a way to speed it up anymore, so. But it looks like everything is going back into the system. So the system is definitely getting there. There's little upgrades here and there that we need to make, but um, as far as like how it's running, it's going really good. And uh, next episode, we should be able to start building the second floor, I think. So I think that's going to do it for this video, though, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button as always. And I hope you guys all have a great day. This is iJevin. Peace out.